，三號強風信號現正生效。喺晚上九点，台风泰利集结喺香港以南大约三百公里，即系北纬十九点六度，东经一百一十四点六度附近。预料向西北偏西移动，时速大约十五公里，大致移向雷州半岛至海南岛一带，并继续增强。本港风势会喺听朝进一步增强，天文台会考虑喺午夜至到听日凌晨两点之间改发八号烈风或暴风信号。喺過去幾個鐘，泰利進一步增強，本港普遍吹強風，離岸同高地吹烈風，間中有狂風驟雨。按照現時預測路徑，泰利會喺聽日凌晨最接近本港，喺香港以南大約三百公里內掠過。本地風向會由東北轉為東至東南，原本受遮蔽嘅地方可能會變得當風。受到泰利帶嚟嘅風暴潮同天文大潮嘅共同影響。沿岸低窪地區，聽朝可能出現淹浸，市民請盡早完成防風防水之，海有大致非常大浪同埋有湧浪，市民應該遠離岸邊，停止所有水上活動，留意天文台嘅最新天氣消息。喺過去一個鐘，昂平、大老山同雲南島分別錄得嘅最高持續風速係每小時七十三、六十一同六十公里。最高神风分别超过每小时九十三、八十六同六十八公里。The strong wind signal number three is in force. At 9 p.m., Typhoon Talim was estimated to be about 300 kilometers south of Hong Kong, which is near 19.6 degrees north, 114.6 degrees east, and is forecast to move west northwest at about 15 kilometers per hour in the general direction of Laysan Peninsula and Hainan Island and continue to intensify. Local winds are expected to strengthen further tomorrow morning. The observatory will consider issuing the gale or storm signal number eight between midnight and 2 a.m. tomorrow. Talim further intensified in the past few hours. Locally, winds were generally strong with gales offshore and on high ground. There were occasional squally showers. According to the present forecast track, Talim will be closest to Hong Kong early tomorrow morning, skirting within about 300 kilometers south of Hong Kong. Local winds will change from northeasterlies to east to southeasterlies. Areas which were previously sheltered may become exposed under the combined effect of the storm surge brought by Talim and the spring tide. There may be flooding in coastal low-lying areas tomorrow morning. Members of the public should complete precautionary measures against high winds and flooding as soon as possible. Seas are rough to very rough with swells. Please stay away from the shoreline and do not engage in water sports. And the public should pay attention to the latest weather information issued by the observatory. In the past hour, the maximum sustained winds recorded at Nongping, Tate, Karen, and Waglan Island were 73, 61, and 60 kilometers per hour, with maximum gusts exceeding 93, 86, and 68 kilometers per hour, respectively. 